I woke up very early today, like around 9 a.m. I was pretty tired, but oh well. I had to go to an appointment, which was pretty far away. And I calculated enough time, in theory. I asked Google Maps how to get there, okay? I went pretty early. I even was able to grab a croissant from the shop. Not a doctor's appointment, though. Now, I took a train. Like, Google Maps told me that from the train on. It was not the only way to go, but it told me... It told, told me to take the, the, uh, an Uber or a taxi or whatever from there on. You not know, it's story time! <laughs> Ain't got no time for your shit right now. So, okay, I woke up early, right? And I took the train. And then I was supposed to take an Uber. But I had, like, pretty much enough time. Even if the Uber would have taken, let's say... Let's say even if the Uber would have taken 15 minutes to get to me. So, I arrived and I call an Uber. There is an Uber accepting, but it would still take a lot of time. But I'm like, okay, I'll wait. I have enough time. But the Uber was finishing a drive somewhere... Uh, a drive for some other passenger. And the moment he finishes the ride for the passenger, he cancels my ride. Even though I already waited, like, pretty long. So I'm like, okay, fuck you. So I order another U Uber. But for some reason, the area that I was in apparently just didn't really have many Ubers. The next one that I accepted also would have taken 14 minutes or so to come to me. But at that point, I already waited so long that I couldn't afford waiting another fucking 15 minutes for an Uber. This is not normal here, okay? No, I wasn't even traveling that far. So when I saw that the next one would take 14 minutes as well, I was like, shit, I need a different solution. This is not gonna work. So I canceled that one myself. And I think I was charged for that one because he was supposedly already on the way to me. I think, um... I think he was gonna finish another ride. I don't, I don't think it's quite fair, but okay. Normally, I wait like, what? 3 to 10 minutes maximum. Maximum! So... I looked up on Google Maps what my other options were. There was walking for like... Whatever how long. 30 minutes or something like that. Which is way too... Ah! Way too long. I would have been like 20 minutes late if I would have done that. If I see... If I order an Uber and I see it will take that long... I think it's pretty normal for some customers to be like... Okay, I don't have that much time. So... I'll cancel that one. So, uh... Any other... Like... Buses or trains or whatever... Wouldn't have really worked either. Anyway... What do I see right in front of my eyes? An e-scooter! The thing is... I've never used an e-scooter before at that point. And I didn't have the app or anything either. But I figured this was my only choice to be somewhat on time. So I quickly... I scramble and I try to quickly download the app and register my payment method and all of that. And that took me like five minutes, I think. So I already lost five minutes for that stupid process, okay? And then I put my phone on the... They usually have like something where you can put your phone. Do those come with helmets? No, they don't! And I didn't have one. But what was I supposed to do? What was what am I supposed to do now? I'll just stand here. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing bad of you on the scooter. Me too, to be honest. I was thinking about that because I was having kind of a hard time on the scooter. So I finally got everything set up and uh, I put my phone on there and, and put on Google Maps and tried to get to the address. But I had to put my phone sideways and, and my, my new phone kind of can't keep up with Google Maps and also can't correctly show me which direction I'm looking in most of the time. So it wouldn't update when... I was moving, like, it would update, like, way later, and it also wouldn't show me the right direction, so it was really confusing, okay? I tried to navigate my way through this place while being super in time stress and also trying to control an e-scooter for the very first time. I had no idea what I was doing. I also didn't know if I was even allowed to drive on the, on the pathway for the normal people or if I should be on the road. I don't know, I did both. I ended up doing both. Actually, I did a great job at following the map without it even functioning properly. But I made one... One mistake. I still had the route set to... As if I was going by foot. So eventually, it led me to go through some kind of muddy, grassy path. 
when I came to that point and realized it, there was not really any going back. And I was also like, if I change it now, I'm already late. I need to go through this now. I need to try. So I, I go... I go with the e-scooter. really shaky. The path is like so... As narrow as the tire. And it's muddy and grassy. And there's like three old ladies on a walk looking at me. And I'm like, ah, hello, sorry. <laughs> it's me with the e-scooter in the middle of nowhere. Three old ladies are probably like, oh, these young people with their technology these days. So that was really awkward. Finally, I was done with the grass path. And I noticed that the tires of my e-scooter were completely covered in mud and grass. <laughs> I already felt so sorry towards the e-scooter company. I'm so sorry, okay? But I didn't know. I mean, I was in stress. I didn't know what I was doing, you know? <laughs> I was also getting really sweaty and controlling the the e-scooter when it was so shaky. Like, ah, da, 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 da. it was really difficult. It was really um using up my, my arm and my leg strength to try to control this thing. Finally, I arrived after many, many... Um, problems i was i was 10 minutes late but with the uber i would have been if that uber would have actually came and not canceled on me again i would have been at least 20 minutes late so i saved some time okay okay so i was 10 minutes late to my appointment the person was waiting for me there i'm like sorry i'm late i'm so sorry i'm like sorry i, I this is my first time riding an e-scooter i don't even know how to park this thing so he he teaches me how to park it <laughs> So he looks at me, probably thinking, what the fuck is this child doing? And also helps me to park my stupid e-scooter. And I try to explain to him that I'm late because I was waiting for an Uber. Uber, I was gonna be on time, but then one cancels on me. And you know, everything goes wrong, of course. And I apologize and all that. Seems understanding and fine with it. Um, then... He actually scolds me. I said, it's my first time riding an e-scooter, so I didn't really even know what I was doing. And if it was allowed what I was doing, you know, driving through that path uh, in the grass. And then he's like, didn't wear, you didn't wear a helmet, did you? And I'm like, no, I didn't bring one. I wasn't planning on going with the e-scooter. Yeah, he scolded me for not wearing a helmet. Okay, dude, I chill. I never see anyone with an e-scooter wearing a helmet. I know you're supposed to wear a helmet, but I don't ever see anyone wearing a helmet. No, no one does that with an e-scooter. Maybe with a, with a bike, but not with an e-scooter. So the story's not over. <laughs> when, I, when I'm parking the thing, I realize it's it's telling me I'm outside of the territory where I'm allowed to put it, uh, where, where I'm allowed to park it. So I'm like, fuck, I need to park it though. And it says I can, I can pause it for uh, two hours. I'm thinking, okay, well, I guess I'll just bring it back to where I came from. Change the route a little bit so I don't have to go through the grass anymore. You know, yeah, serious of for unfortunate events, exactly. <laughs> I felt so stupid going. Going with the e-scooter through that grass. I felt so stupid, to be honest. Making an interesting story. Exactly! That was that was also what I was thinking. Like, oh, I'm looking forward to telling you guys this story. <laughs> so, I paused it. And then after the appointment, I'm, I was planning on using it again. So, appointment over. I go to my e-scooter. I unpause it. Oh, because, by the way, it said if I just leave it there. I could have left it there. But I would have gotten a fine. So, I said I will pause it and then bring it back but what happens i go a few meters and suddenly the scooter stops working and i'm like eh, what what did i do wrong now like this is my first time with these scooters i didn't know what i was doing i was like eh, 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 eh. i tried to move it i'm like eh, what am i doing wrong but it just won't go on anymore i suppose maybe the battery ran out but the e-scooter didn't like have any display or anything that told me the batteries were running out. It just suddenly didn't want to move anymore. And then I tried scanning the code again. Because they have a, like a code on it. When I scanned the code, it said this... This vehicle is not usable anymore. So what happens though is... The system now said... I left the vehicle outside of a parking area. And got the fine anyway. <laughs> I got the I didn't think that it was the battery in that moment, so I thought 
thought, you know, it realized that I was fucking around so much with it that they, they wouldn't want me to control it anymore. Yeah, I thought they were just like, girl, all that mud and grass on our tires and that route you took, we were watching all of that. And girl, this is your first time using e-scooters, but you're already banned for life using our company's e-scooters. Fuck you, get out of here. <laughs> and here's a fine to go with it. That's what I thought it was. But look, I, I understand, you know, I really treated it badly, but I was like, I was, I was desperate. <laughs> But I really messed up. I saw it with humor though. When my when my um when my scooter finally ran out and, and wouldn't let me drive it anymore, and I saw that I got the fine, <laughs> I just chuckled and then walked my way <laughs> to the closest public transport option. I always was like, there were times where I was like, oh, if I had if, if I knew how to use an e-scooter right now, then I wouldn't have to walk so far. Wouldn't that be nice? But I never really used it until now because I just felt like, well, I don't know. I don't know how to use them. I was kind of in a situation where I was forced to use the the e-scooter today for the first time, which I was glad I finally learned how to use them. But it was an interesting experience. <laughs> For the very first time, at least there's a lot of other e-scooter companies. Oh, I want to use them again, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, mommy. But they're fun. Definitely are fun to use. Like, they go so fast with no effort, yo. An e-bike in the future. Nah, I prefer the e-scooters, but... <laughs>